हाय वेलकम टू आरोग्य विजिट टिप्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर गोपिका नायर आपका आरोग्य विजिट अपी में बहुत बहुत स्वागत है टुडे इज अ टॉपिक अबाउट डिले डेवलपमेंट इट्स वेरी कॉमन इन बेबीज डिले डेवलपमेंट अकर व्हेन अ चाइल्ड डज नॉट रीच इन द डेवलपमेंटिंग माइलस्टोन सो बेसिकली इट माइट बी इफ इन द एग्जैक्ट टाइम इफ इट्स नॉट इन द एग्जैक्ट टाइम एंड इट कैन परसिस ओवर अ टाइम एज वेल डेवलपमेंटिंग डिले disability can also may require uh, intervention and a full time care in order to maximize the function and opportunities and it is important to establish a proper intervention care or stabilize or strategies uh, for everyday life now signs and symptoms of delay development aapko kaise aise pata chalega ki your baby is going with the delay development because in certain time a particular age ke baad or particular month ke baad you get to know okay my baby skipped this thing a kid skipped this thing like for example rolling absent ho jayega standing absent ho jayega at particular time ke baad sit to stand nahi hoga aise babies mein mostly the iq level is different like lower than the average and that type of babies are like uh, unable to socialize with people baat karne se pehle they got confused and speech mein problem hoga first of all it get to so much time to get back to the original position or what we can say uh, baat karne mein itni difficulty hogi ki ho sakta hai one year lage two year lage speech problem hone mein and uh, can able to eye contact problem mein bhi bahut problem hone wala hai and this all type is suffering from the patient who are going with the delay development mostly crawling bhi absent rahega might be some of the children can adapt crawling but unable to sit to stand so it might take time than the usual babies so this all thing we can whenever if you see in your baby please go to the physiotherapist go to your doctor and consult the doctor and start your treatment causes of delay development might be the chances of hereditary or can be because of the genetics and ho sakta hai many of the people are going with the trauma or psychological problem or some of the people are going with the brain injury problem or some mother pregnant woman going with the psychological problem or vitals jab bhi fluctuate hoge during the periods that time also can possible this uh, delay development can be there and when during the delivery agar fix hua epilepsy ke process hue or anything can happens because of that the delay development can proceed with this condition now ye doubt rahega ki delay development babies ko hum kya kya karwa sakte hain okay so physiotherapy is the best option for the delay development to get to know the milestone where they reached and occupational therapy for the speech and for the skills and kyunki motor growth skills kafi kafi late aayenge and for the behavior therapy for the social and for the special education therapy so this all therapy you can go with your uh, babies and you can guide them which can improve back to normal position passive movement is important to increase the range of movement and to prevent the muscles and joint from becoming stiff so do it gradually kneeling legs straight up SLR while holding the hip so that the alignment will be proper both side both leg should done properly with stability ankle toe movement ankle rotation SLR and heel sliding is also important for the passive exercise heel sliding and relax just hold the both legs fold it pressing the toe so that the weight bearing should get activated turn one side straight one leg up holding the hip stabilize the another leg slr side slr passively which will improve the muscle strength as well as decrease the stiffness clamp shells in side lying position kindly hold the hip so that the alignment will be in proper position and next trunk control is also important in delayed development child good trunk control can stable the head movement allowing the child to grip the thumb and try to push up so that the child push himself towards the upward position koshish kariyega just hold the thumb and push up stable trunk movement is very important 
for the standing for the weight bearing and the stable head movement which will create a stable eye movement which increase the visual and cognitive development as well turn the child in quadruped position in proper alignment try to keep the leg for the stability and for the proper quadruped position try to keep the child in quadruped position for a while so that the weight shifting will be there in hand as well as in the knee hold the pelvic move forward and backward for the pelvic tilting activity push him up for the high kneeling position hold the hip if the trunk movement is very good he will come by himself in high kneeling position be there in same position for a while and up as you can see while holding the hip the child can able to come by himself if the trunk stability is good now keeping in a proper hand position try to push the hand one by one and alternatively knee as well for the crawling position This is a brilliant activity for the leg and the pelvic but it's fantastic for the core and shoulder stability as well. Now next for the standing make sure the knee and the heel should be in proper position. Push the heel down while coming up. Try to push down in sitting position. Hold the knee and apply pressure towards the foot give resistance so that the child push himself in upward position for the standing movement it to continue for a while to activate the reflex as well hold the knee give the pressure push down child will come up by himself next now hold and stabilize the knee in proper position try to come up by himself push him down let him come by himself which will increase the reflex and stability of trunk movement as well this can also improve the strength in the foot for the balance purpose now once they are able to sit with just holding at their hip hold the knee give pressure towards the foot try to maintain the position again coming in the same position trying to be in the same position while holding the knee give pressure towards the foot stabilize the hip be in the position now swiss ball activity is very important in delay development child perform a swiss ball not only the improve the balance but also correct the various abnormalities and thus help to improve postural coordination strength stability flexibility muscle endurance and body awareness sense of symmetry by maintaining synergy between the group of muscles in this position you need to hold the elbow stabilized and give the pulse movement Now rotate the swiss ball try to bring his leg towards the floor turn the child lying down on swiss ball holding the knee stabilize the knee and turn the child in one direction turn in side line and pull towards yourself again down hold the knee stabilize turn one side pull towards yourself bringing up try to hold it once turn and hold his hand and just try to pull a little bit he will come by himself the child reflex will come by himself turn one side pull towards yourself bring him to sitting position and relax 
Now, delayed development child gait training is very much important, which can help strengthen muscle and joint, improve posture and balance, lower the risk of falling, overall increase the mobility as well. As well as the gait training is also important to help the build the child endurance. It will also improve the repetitive movement of the muscles as well as improve the muscle memory which will develop the muscle memory as well while doing the repetitive activity. Next exercise to make him stand in standing frame for at least for half an hour heel should touch the ground make sure that or keep any type of weight or object so that the heel should touch the ground continuously if you have any doubt please let us know in comment section witness your fitness with us